what a simple thing. What a simple thing, what a primal thing to allow a softening of the heart so that it can receive the fire of love so that the heart may thaw and things may flow in the human experience. And that is supremely relevant to our relationship with the very source of love within us, the power of love, the fire of love that burns in each of us, not just as a matter of imagination, as a matter of reality. There is universal power, universal love in the atoms of our body, tremendous atomic power. And what else is that but the power of love, universal love burning in, in us. And yet for that universal love to be relevant to our own conscious awareness, our own conscious experience, we have to open consciously because guess what? We're conscious beings and that's how we work. And if something's gonna happen consciously, we have to open consciously. And so there has to be an openness of heart to receive, an openness of mind, so that we let love in. Well, it was there in the first place. The atomic power didn't stop just because we weren't aware of it. But to let it into the human experience, we have to open our hearts to it. Here is this primal aspect of the human experience to receive love and to give it. Both are such an honor, such an honor to receive love, to be loved. And yet sometimes we as human beings find that hard. And it's an honor to offer love. It occurred to me powerfully this morning what a privilege, what an honor it is for another human being to let you love them. Such a primal thing among us. And yet, if we don't let other people love us, and we don't bring the current of love to the people in our life, there's so much that's missing. And all the other wonderful things that can happen in our human life tend not to happen. And then even if they do, we tend not to appreciate them. It's hard to appreciate where there's not a where there's a cold heart. How does that work? No, where there's a, a heart that's been warmed by the fire of love and there's something flowing, then we can appreciate all the rest of life all the wonder of what unfolds in life. 